Hello Team 5, thank you very much for sending me your draft plan. Um, this is some feedback. I'm just going to pick up on um, a few of the points and what I'd like you to do is uh, obviously pay attention and discuss the uh, points in this uh, screencast but really what you'll need to do uh, after this is to take your copy of the Word document which I have commented and work through those comments in a bit more detail basically clearing the pink boxes as you go and uh, adding in your case quite a lot more detail to your plan what I'm going to do uh, in the screencast is pick up on uh, just a few of the points okay so let's um, start with the podcast channel um, and your ideas for that looks like you've uh, spent a fair amount of time uh, planning out roles in the team um, so that's really good that's exactly what you need to do start to get a sense of strengths weaknesses and who wants to um, input in, in what way to your project so it looks like you've had that discussion quite a big team okay let's move on to the podcast title uh, because if I talk about this it will give you a sense of uh, the approach that you should be taking at the moment what we, what was needed here is uh, for you to come up with a title for your podcast channel um, what you've given is uh, some sort of sense of what, what it might be like now this is a really good starting point for you it really helps you as a team to focus in on your planning and design so the idea here is to come up with a title and create a sense of what it is you're going to be uh, producing together if you can commit to a good title as a team everything else will start to follow and fall into place so this should have been the good fun starting point for you so what we want here is an actual title for the podcast channel okay let's move on um, you've given me some sense of a structure here it is a bit thin at the moment um, okay we're talking about a two to five minute podcast so it's not too far off perhaps one of the things here that I'd like to pick up on is this word informal and you're not alone by any means in uh, using this word to describe the style of your podcast but as I've said in the comments if you take a closer look at this caution here beware informal isn't really telling you anything it's not telling you anything as a team about what you're gonna need it's um, quite good to have an agreement about the attitude that you'll be conveying in this co uh, podcast but don't be misled into thinking that it taking an informal approach will be easy and that it will result in an engaging podcast for your audience it's going to be quite tricky to pull it off if you really are going to achieve an informal feeling podcast it's likely if you're not careful to feel really quite amateur so just have a, a bit more of a think about what that means and uh, essentially you've really got to plan whatever you're doing whether you're going for the informal or not you've really got to plan your podcast um, okay let's let's zoom in here on production time you've not actually um, put anything here but possibly you haven't understood really what what you were meant to do but let's be clear about this you need to be clear about what each of you in your team are going to contribute to this project so you need to have that very early conversation right now about when are you each available when is a good time for you to work together when you're not together when can you work on this project and for how long have that conversation now as the team um, and then you'll be clear about the level of input each of you are going to make and what's expected of you until you start to uh, deal with those questions as a team there'll be uncertainty about uh, things like who's doing the most and who's taking the lead in what area of the project and that sort of thing so please do have that conversation um, as soon as possible uh, that is something that is really very important for you to um, be clear about at this stage of it okay let's move on through here um, I'm not going to spend any time talking about this but I'll flag it up um, you need to do uh, some work on defining your audience if you don't know who your audience is um, you've really got no focus to work towards you've got to conjure up really quite a real feeling about who your audience is right we've talked about channel planning let's talk about the episode planning now again we want a title because as I said before if you can come up with the title 
other things are going to follow. It's going to inform the style, the approach. It's going to signal to you as a production team as much as to your audience eventually uh, what sort of approach, what's going to come next. So come up with a title. It should be uh, really quite straightforward to do that. And it's certainly a good starting point when you're designing this sort of uh, project. Um, okay, so there's more comments there on style and approach and uh, defining your topic. Now this area is also really quite important for you right at the beginning of your planning process. You need to have a brainstorm. You need to look at all the tasks that are going to be involved. Think back to the seminars. You know, what is actually involved in this production process? And what you need to do is come up with your ideas and convert those, identify the tasks within your ideas and assign, uh, looking at the roles you've identified within your team, assign who is going to take responsibility for leading each task. Not necessarily doing, but leading each task. You need to have someone pushing away at each task to ensure that you get through to the end. There'll be a list here of at least 15 different tasks. That's what you should aim for when you have that discussion. What does Andrew mean by 15 tasks? Well, think back to the seminars and that should become quite clear. Okay, let's move on through here. File management. Let's uh, just pick up on this because if you get this wrong, you can have done a brilliant job the whole way through, get to the end, someone's ill, I don't know, something goes wrong and you've got no sense of where all the files are, how the file naming conventions worked. Just agree that now. That's another easy thing to do right at the beginning. How are you going to manage the files? How are you going to name them? Where are you going to create a backup? And, uh, you know, there should be two or three people in your team that are very familiar with the way the files associated with the planning and the production itself. You know, how are they being managed? Because you can do a brilliant job and it can all fall apart at the last minute because you've lost track of which file is which. Okay, I'm going to leave the screencast feedback there. Um, please come and talk to me if you want any more uh, thoughts about uh, what you should be doing at the moment. But essentially, what you need to do now is turn to each other. Now you've viewed this uh, screencast together. Turn to each other. Um, take a look at the, uh, the Word document itself. Uh, that I've sent back to you too and work through each of these pink boxes and uh, basically finish that plan off. Now I think you're doing okay there's quite a lot for you to do there um, but you have got quite a lot to do really in the next week um, to fine-tune your plan and actually in some cases that there are big gaps in your thinking so far so keep going and uh, compared to other groups I think you're about there you know most people have got quite a lot to do at this stage so you, you know don't worry too much but uh, get it done now okay thanks